CEO of Ecobank Nigeria, and I'm pleased to speak this morning on behalf of my group CEO, Mr. Ade Ayeyemi, who is the group CEO of Ecobank across 40 countries globally, 36 of which is in Africa. The theme of the conference here today cannot be more apt. The fact that MSMEs are the game changer of our economies is evident in the role that MSMEs have played in each of our various lives. I think for those of us that did not grow, even if you grew in a cosmopolitan city as Lagos or Abuja today, the fact is that given the number of MSMEs relative to the number of paid employees in our country, I can say comfortably that more than half of us in this hall are products of the economic performance of MSMEs across Nigeria. And today, technology in particular and the various platforms that has brought the world into true global village setting and the astuteness of our millennials who, by the grace of God, even from population, uh, dominate uh, the highest number of people in our country, we truly have a chance to bring the real performance of MSMEs into the economic performance of our great nation, which is the powerhouse of Africa. And so, access to finance has been spoken about repeatedly, but access to market and the ability to actually deliver services 24-7 has the capacity to multiply the contribution of MSMEs uh, into the performance of our national economy. And I believe that is why the central bank rightly has put financial inclusion at the centerpiece of economic development. And I think we should give the central bank a big round of applause. <laughs> Ecobank is truly committed, and I'm pleased to communicate our goodwill to the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, ably led by our President and Chairman of Council, Uche Mizaya Olowu, PhD. I think we should give him and all the members of Council of CIB and the big round of applause. So very simple example. Like I said, I live uh, in Togo until my recent appointment. For us at Ecobank, for instance, it has taken us 30 years to have about 120,000 customers in Ecobank in Togo until about 18 months ago. And Ecobank Group published to the whole world that from a customer base of 10 million, our ambition is to have banking services provided to 100 million people within five years. And quite a number of analysts said, how would that happen? And we used various examples. Today, every adult, and even the young ones that you find, always have a mobile phone. And we said that's a simple example of bringing service to every household. Now, the beauty is that banking services does not need to reinvent the wheel. We need to leverage the ecosystem, collaborate with those that we call fintechs. They're not just fintechs. It's the new way of life. And for us to leverage what the ESUSU person, because financial services have always existed in all our rural areas. The challenge is that the banking model uh, made it quite expensive and quite often not accessible to everybody. So leveraging technology and leveraging the mobile phone, leveraging agency, which SANEF will be doing, and we're committed to supporting in Nigeria, Within 15 months, we moved customer numbers in Togo from 100,000 to 450,000 customers. Now, that kind of scale 
will happen in Nigeria by God's grace. And the purpose of today's conference gives us the opportunity to all contribute to ensure that every household indeed has 24-7 access to affordable and sustainable financial services and make, it, make owning a bank account a fundamental human right of every Nigerian such that we translate the abundance of activity and ingenuity of Nigeria to truly making Nigeria the economic powerhouse of not only Africa, but a leading economic powerhouse globally. So on this note, I'd like to thank all those that are involved in putting this conference together. Uh, I also joined the last speaker, Emeka, my colleague, who we both have served on the board of Axion Microfinance. And I indeed remember that our governor, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, was indeed uh, one of the founding directors of Axion Microfinance Bank in order to bring financial inclusion to grassroots. I thank you, Emeka. And I thank Kita and all my colleagues and every member of the board and council of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria for today's occasion. And since I'm an eco banker, truly Pan Africa, Jove Di Alkini, Merci beaucoup à tous, bienvenue à cette conférence. Merci. I don't know how we can generate a multilingual round of applause now. Chairman Conference Consultative Committee is here with us with his very unmistakable red tie. Please welcome him, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to the Zenith of this hall. Most uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My assignment here this morning is very simple, and it's basically to thank you all for taking out the time to honor our invitation. But I think it's much more appropriate to still mention some of our most distinguished guests here today who have taken the time, the pains, to come to identify with the program today. Thank you very much to the Secretary to the Federal Government of Nigeria, represented by Mr. Shegu Adekuli. Thank you very much sir, for coming. My Chairman, Anywhere I go is always the chairman there. The deputy governor of uh, Central Bank, Dr. Joseph Oku Nana. Thank you very much for coming. I can see the managing director of the NDIC. Thank you very much sir, for coming. We have so many people here, so many distinguished people who have uh, taking out time, my colleagues from the banking industry, both Seven and X, 
and also those who have used the opportunity to market their bands here today. <laughs> Please, I'm going to send my fee notes. Uh, Patrick, just uh, take note of that. You are going to pay us in dollars since uh, you are not just a local bank here, you are all over 46 or 50 countries you mentioned. So please get ready to pay us in dollars, or is this Sephar you are going to pay us? Because he has done so much marketing this morning. <laughs> so, my president, Dr. Lu, please take note to send a few notes to, to Patrick, and also a letter to for the limited one you've done. I know once you give any bank CEO the opportunity, I can see Emeka Okonkwo there. Emeka, are you trying, are you want to come and speak to? <laughs> Don't get your check ready, then you come, you know. So I really, really want to thank, I mean, the turnout here is so, so impressive. And the fact that almost everyone was here on time. The program has been very, the topics have been very well chosen. We have uh, four business sessions, two today, then we'll have two tomorrow. Then we also have a plenary session later this afternoon. I can assure you that it's going to be very, very engaging if you go by the list of those that we have invited. These are people who are very, very vast in the topics that we've, uh, we've, uh, we've selected and they've been carefully chosen. And I really want to thank them for being here uh, this morning. So please, we are just concluding the opening ceremonies. And more importantly, the business sessions are very, very important. And I will urge each and every one of us to please stay behind, spend time with us, and contribute actively to these sessions. And I'm sure you'll be glad that you stayed behind. I really want to thank members of the Council of the Chartered Institute of Bankers. I want to thank members of the Consultative and Organizing Committee for a very, very wonderful job that you've done. People travel all the way from Abuja for meetings in Lagos. The Managing Director of uh, Infrastructure Bank by a good friend, Kuli Adekule. We have quite also a, not only know a sorry, <laughs> Quite a lot of other colleagues from Central Bank, from NDIC, Bank of Agri, Bank of Industry, they come all the way from Abuja to have meetings in Lagos almost on a weekly basis. Please let them a round of applause, please. So I want to round up by thanking you all again, and uh, we well, wish each and every one of us a very fulfilling deliberation later today and tomorrow. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you very much. As we begin to wind down the opening ceremony, let me welcome again one more time the man that everybody in the house recognizes as a doyen of the industry, Elijah Maru Mutala. Let me welcome you one more time. And so without much ado, I'd like to bring back the representative of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Olushe Madekule, to formally open the conference. Should I say good morning again? Okay. I came here just to deliver the address of the Secretary to Government. But an additional task has been added. In our profession, we do not dodge responsibilities. We accept them willingly and we put in our best. 
we have listened to from from the president we've got the welcome address we've got the keynote address from the governor of the central bank uh, dr nana actually stated when he signed off but we left one thing undone we, we did not open a conference that is why i'm back here before I declare it open, let me say congratulations to all of you. For those that have not been able to come to this site, it's a very beautiful site from where I'm standing. Thank you. On behalf of the Secretary to Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, it is my pleasure to declare this 11th Banking and Finance Conference holding in Abuja open. I wish you all fruitful deliberations. Thank you. Thank you very much. And so, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we will um, take a short break, about 15, uh, Mr. President, 20 minutes break, tea break. Okay, 20 minutes, he has approved. But before then, we'll all be visiting the exhibition stand. And then the first two rows in the room here will be having a group photograph outside. Uh, Mr. Abatunde is in the room. He will guide us and the event manager. Where? Mm. Okay. So I understand, Mr. President, for the exhibition, you will lead your special guests now. The rest of us will remain in the room while they visit the exhibition stands, take photograph, and then when we are set, we'll break for tea for 20 minutes. So, Mr. President, please. But before we do that, shall we arise now for the national anthem to close the opening ceremony? Uh, um, Soundman, are you ready for me or do we sing? Okay, so go ahead. Particularly those on the front row to the exhibition. The rest of us, let's take our seats, please. And then when they come back, we can break for tea. 